Since the last training session with Filt, where I leveled up, I trained my stats and made sure I kept all my equipment that I had on as well as what I had in my inventory. As I want to keep the gear that I have, I want to make sure that I don't accidentally lose them later on. As you can see here, I have now completed six tasks in the Allurian Academy and am on to the seventh, which is economy training. To get to that class from anywhere in the Academy, we can type run to economics, which I shall do now. Here we have the Academy Treasury where Vladia, the Academy Treasurer, awaits us. Taking a closer look at Vladia though, you can understand why she is called Vladia. Her pointy eye teeth and her sharp eyesight makes you think more about guarding your jugular than your wallet. In any case, she has a sharp eye for good deals and is sure to steer us in the right direction. At the start of your adventures in Ardwolf, the economy is mostly related to finding, spending and saving gold. Gold is used to buy equipment from stores or from auction and to obtain potions that help you in various ways. There is a very active economy where players exchange rare items and services for gold. Some characters you encounter while exploring even require you to bribe them with gold to pass them by or learn a secret. Knowing how to find gold is a very useful skill. The gold you have available is shown in your scorecard. The worth command displays a summary of your gold on hand and any gold you have saved in the bank. Before I go on, with the client I am using, you can see my gold on hand in the right side of the screen at the top of the fourth subsection of stats. The gold total stands out because it is in bright yellow. Not everyone uses the Ardwolf Mush client though, or a client that shows the score on the screen. So let us type worth for Vladia and see the format it is in. As you can see, I have 8,035 gold on hand and none in the bank. I have no trivia points and no quest points at this stage. Vladia goes on to say, there are many ways to earn gold while exploring Andalore. The most common way to earn gold is by killing monsters. Most monsters will leave some gold in their corpse. Monster corpses can also be sacrificed for a little extra gold. Equipment that you loot from corpses can be sold in various shops throughout Andalore or auctioned off to other players. Shopping and auctions are discussed in detail in the next few lessons. The quest masters are generous with their gold. As a new player, accepting quest or assignments to kill various creatures in your level range can be one of the easiest ways to gain gold. Mob quests are covered more in career training. Read help quest if you would like to learn about them now. Another good but dangerous way to earn gold is by completing campaigns for Commander Barset in Aelor. Campaigns are like mob quests but involve multiple victims and are much harder. Campaigns are also covered in career training. Some more fun ways to earn gold are at the blackjack tables in Ivas Casino, from other players in poker tournaments or taking your chances on the Ardwolf Lottery. Blackjack and poker are covered later. To learn about the lottery, please read Help Lottery. Finally, as you have already seen, completing tasks for many of the characters in Andalore is rewarded with gold. There are other ways to earn gold in Ardwolf, but these cover the main ones. Vladi's blackboard contains a summary, and Help Gold has some further information. Mmm. That is a lot of different ways we can obtain gold. Let us look at a few of these options more closely. A quick way to check the amount of gold we have on hand is to simply type gold. The gold we can get from monsters increases as we increase in level. This looks like it is something to look forward to. Though, if we kill a mob that is too low level for us, then the gold we get from it also drops. The optimum level for gold is from mobs that are evenly matched or slightly weaker than us. 
This is handy to know if we are ever on a mission just to get some more gold. Looks like there are some thief mobs in the game that steal from us. At least they will return all the gold they stole from us when we kill them. Sounds like it is worth our while keeping an eye on our gold levels. We did touch upon this briefly earlier, if you remember, but mobs that are killed less often are more likely to have bonus gold on them when they are killed. So in less used areas where mobs have not been killed for an hour or more, they will have more gold in their corpses when they die. As Vladia mentioned, campaigns, quests and goals are a good way to get gold, especially for newbies like us. Trivia points are mentioned here too. It sounds like these are very useful as well as we can sell them to get gold. I wonder how we can sell them and how much we can get for one. I'm sure we will find this out soon enough. It looks like Ardwarp has a bi-weekly lottery system for a chance to win some gold, just like playing the real lottery. Every ticket has three numbers ranged from 1 to 50. Each ticket costs 1,000 gold coins and the maximum number of tickets you can buy is 100. There are only 40,000 tickets sold per game, so it ensures that each player gets a chance to play. In the city of Aelor, we can type Run to Lottery to purchase some tickets using the syntax listed at the start of the help file. We don't get real tickets, but the information is saved on our character file. This means you can buy tickets even if you are at your weight limit. As you all know, I only have 8,000 gold on me, so I shall pass on the lottery for now though it is something I will be looking at playing when I have some spare gold lying around. I won't go into the quest and campaign help files now, as these are quite detailed and are covered later in the career training. However, I am really looking forward to learning about them both. 